Continue. Yeah, I think the uh I think the tool that I use to randomly select games for me to play as part of the PS2 gauntlet, I think it's on a bit of a uh, anime kick or something like that. Like, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, man. Like two two games back to back. Now, granted, Avatar: The Last Airbender, it's made in America as far as I'm aware. So you know, not that same kind of anime, but still the one you were helping on no i mean i still want to work on that one but we're waiting on dorseman to uh i got him his workstation set back up for him and everything so hopefully fingers crossed there will be more progress on that soon but uh no this is just a side thing that i've been thinking of doing for a little while Either that or fighting game mood yeah honestly i mean we did mortal kombat and then uh what, what game did we play last night it was a it was an anime game I know that much. I can't remember the name of it, though. Damn. What? <laughs> what the hell was it? Oh, my God. We just played it last night. Ben 10. Ben 10. So, cartoon mood, I guess, more so than, than anime is what it is. Because, <laughs> yeah. Ben 10's not really an anime, in my opinion. But, you know. Close enough, I suppose. Don't, <laughs> Don't hate me. Uh, yeah, we'll make a new save game. Ben 10 is totally an anime. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I mean, it's an animated television show. So, you know, kind of. <laughs> now, obviously, anime usually means, you know, Japanese animation. But you could you could argue it if you really wanted to. I'm not going to because <laughs> I, I wouldn't consider it one. But, you know, you could, though. You could. I have no idea what the Avatar game is going to be like. I have, at the very least, though, seen Avatar. I've, I've watched all of Avatar. I haven't watched the Legend of Korra or whatever it's called, the, the spinoff after Avatar. But I did watch all of Avatar, so, so I should know the characters and all that good stuff, at the very least. Uh, we'll turn subs on, damage indicators on, auto assign moves, sure, I don't care. I'm not even sure what that means at the moment. Uh, turn the speech up all the way. Hopefully everything else will be fine. You've never seen Avatar, but you know a lot because you did get into the lore pretty well. Besides, I had Toph. Toph is awesome. Very true. <laughs> very, very true. Toph is a badass little girl, man. Uh, so we got code entry. Oh, man, I miss when video games had codes and cheats. That is one of the best things about coming back to the retro consoles they are sorely missed in the in newer titles man i can't believe you've never seen avatar you should watch it sometime man it's not that long Ru. it's only what like four seasons or something like that so it's not super long or anything <laughs> Only if it wasn't password code to continue the game. That was a pain in the butt. Uh, very true. Very true. I remember on Metroid, whenever I played through that on the Nintendo, I had to take a picture of my screen with my cell phone every time that it happened. Because, yeah. Ago that Sokka and I left our homes in the South Pole to help Aang with his Avatar training. I could have swore we turned subtitles on. The Automod is being mean again? Yeah. <laughs> you said in the butt. You can't say in the butt, Rue. We realize the importance of Aang completing his waterbending training here. Even if, at times, it seems he doesn't. Hey, Appa! <gasps> Katara said she would go penguin sledding with me before training today! See you later, boy! I'm really upset that the subtitles aren't working, but you loved Avatar, Nate, and Uncle Iro is a font of wisdom, a fountain of wisdom, I think is what you were trying to say. But uh, yeah, no, I, I agree, man. Avatar is really, really good, and Iro is amazing, and the uh, Leaves on the Vine episode is, oh, oh boy, <laughs> hit you right in the feels. And as much as I love your bits popping up nearly every stream, Mr. Noodle, I agree. You should wait and get the bigger pack. You get a better uh, deal when you get the bigger pack. But Uncle Euro is a legend. Hell yeah. 
So what do we got? We got... We can hold square. I'm guessing that's a block since he just kind of puts his... Uh, I forget what it's called, but the glider thing up. X is some sort of attack. I kind of thought that would be a jump, but I guess not. R1 has some sort of wheel that comes up. Oh. Okay. So select and L3 or R3 do the same thing. That's weird. D-pad doesn't do anything, and I'm sure we'll figure out more about the game as we continue. Can we break the pots? We can, and we get copper. Kind of look like gold on the ground. I was kind of excited there for a minute, not going to lie. <laughs> Dude, that episode, especially after finding out the extra stuff behind it, yeah, man. Hits you right in the feels. And I mean, you're allowed to, Noodle, if you want to buy them now. Like, of course, you can. I'm just saying, you would get more bang for your buck if you, uh either wait it a little bit longer or if it lets you you could like uh just buy the bigger pack and then i don't know how much more money you need but put up the extra dollar or two whatever you'll wait okay i don't blame you i think that's probably for the best love are they no okay look for a moment like they were regaining health after i was attacking them let me uh let me go into the options and make sure that the options actually saved that i set because you know yeah no they didn't like not at all <laughs> i guess i probably hit triangle to go back instead of x to accept so that's probably on me to be honest oh it worked here though on that yourself your squad has this weird system that won't let you get reimbursements until march so kill me i hope the auto <laughs> kind of su uh, surprised it didn't but you're at 1029 how much do you do you need i don't actually like know off the top of my head how much uh the different bit packs cost what's that ang has sent something hidden nearby try and find it uh do we just do we just beat things to to get stuff i don't <laughs> how do we how do we how do we find it oh focus moves can be used to reveal hidden items press triangle when the prompt appears for a powerful bending move okay oh shoot i wasn't paying attention it's a quick time event <laughs> hopefully that's good enough even though i missed one of them because <laughs> yeah i wasn't paying attention at all 9.99 plus tax how much uh tax that's what 70 cents tax oh yeah so you're real close i mean you could just put up the extra 50 cents if you wanted to or like i said or wait no harm in waiting so we got all kinds of stuff like actual items and things um can we do anything with them oh is this like a full rpg style game like an action rpg we have stats we have different armors can we look through the armor we can we got trinkets that i can equip attributes we have health chi for advanced moves armors armor life is i'm assuming health yeah focus also increases your max chi huh wait wearing items with focus gives you more chi wearing items with focus increases your chi <laughs> okay uh, agility increases your armor because you're faster and harder to hit fair enough Wearing items with strength and increases your basic attack damage. That also makes sense. And then we have healing items and shit like that. Very cool. You don't know if you can do the split payment type of thing? Oh, fair. Yeah, no, I don't know if you can or not. I know some apps will let you pay, like, partially with your... Whatever money you have loaded into your app store. Um, and then the rest on your card. But I, I don't know. March 7th, the reason is because even though you're registered as a full-time student, your advanced stats class doesn't start till then, financial-wise. You're only a part-time student, which is stupid. That is pretty stupid, man. <laughs> registered as full-time, but because one class doesn't start until later, you can't be full-time. Dumb. Advanced players can use this screen to adjust how move points are spent. Move points are earned when you level up. All right, so we have it set to auto right now, but if we wanted to... We could go through and actually choose how all of our level up stuffs work. That's neat. I honestly, I expected... Oh, no, no, don't drop it. I want to exit. Honestly, I expected this to be a little bit more of a cash grabby sort of thing than a... Uh... Oh, now it's going to give us a tutorial on the weapons. <laughs> or the, the items, I mean. But yeah, I expected it to be a little more Ben 10-like and a little uh, less real game-like, you know? Need help? We even have dialogue trees? What the hell? Who are you? I'm just one of the village's fishermen. 
Uh, I'm not going to pronounce that name. Is the name. <laughs> what can I do for you this fine morning? Uh, which village are you from? The training camp up to the north, of course. Hey, you should head up there. Katara was looking for you earlier. Very well. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, there's some uh, wolves around here, by the way. You might want to be careful. Like, I just killed, like, six of them on my way here. And I only walked probably, like, I don't know, what, it's 100 yards, maybe? You, so you might want to you might want to be careful, bro. I'm just saying. You don't look like... I mean, maybe you're a bender. You might be okay. I'll leave you alone now. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, no. You know what, dude? Like, there's three more of them right here, actually. You don't... You don't... You don't care, dude. No. Um, yeah. So there's... But, okay. I'll let you go. <laughs> You're in the epilogue chapter of Fairy Tale now? Very nice, man. Is there, like, uh, side stuff that you can do after you beat the game? Like, uh, end game content that you can mess around with? That way the game isn't just, like, over for you, or... Is that pretty much it once you're there? You got save points? Save points are cool. You know, I got this really cool memory card for the PlayStation 1 that you can put a SD card in, and a, uh, through the power of FPGA technology... It can treat that one SD card as an infinite number of memory cards, essentially. I really hope that someday they come out with something like that for the PS2. Because that would be awesome, man. So, serious question then. Can I use my next paycheck to get the desktop, or can I wait? My paycheck will be about 500, so I'd be using half of it to get it. Should I wait till March, or do you guys think I can splurge? I personally think it would be better to wait. Um, unless you can splurge and still have a little bit put back. My personal philosophy, even though I'm all for spending money, because you never know, you know, if you're going to be around tomorrow to spend it, I think it's always good to have at least a little bit put back so that if something happens, you know, some sort of emergency or something, you have a little bit of a nest egg to fall back on. But, yeah, I mean, if you, if you can, if you can get your desktop and still have a little bit put back, then I say go for it, man. What can I do? If not, then March isn't that far, you know? It's gonna suck waiting one more month, but I believe in you, Rue. There is uh, endgame content too, Nate. That's awesome, man. Beautiful morning. Uh, yeah, who are you? Uh, you know my name. Why don't I know yours? Uh, don't tell me you've forgotten old Gen Lee. You dragged me out of penguin sledding just last week. Uh, did I win, though? Does the wind blow cold in winter? Of course you won. Katara was Where looking for I... you earlier, by the way. You should go and see her when you get a chance. Just at the village entrance over there to the north. Very cool. Good news is you have a couple thousand in your bank account. <laughs> Ang is rude. Well, then, yeah, like I said, if you if you have money saved up um, for it's that sort of thing side, as a little nest egg or whatever, then go for it, man. Get yourself a computer. I'm sure you'll love having a decent computer, too, because aren't you running on, like, a, a cell phone and a laptop, and that's pretty much it right now? heard master way was looking for you earlier maybe you should go and talk to him first just turn left here and follow the stairs up you can't miss him i'm really tempted to go to the right <laughs> and not go to, to master way over here I'm, I'm gonna follow i'm gonna follow the rules i'm gonna do what i'm told but i i i'm very tempted not to though just let it be known it still feels really weird to uh press square to block this chapter has a few episodes, and it's getting the guild back together, and then after that, it's actually endgame, and there's certain characters that can be unlocked till finishing the final chapter. Sick, man. I'll have to look into it one of these Hi. days after I uh, watch the anime, you know? Have you heard the rumors, Aang? People were saying, here, hi, Ryu. <laughs> he, Ryu? <laughs> it's gone missing. And uh, who is that again? A friend of mine and a fine hunter and water bender. Please drop by and see Master Wei. See if you can help out. And Watch where yourself. is Master Way? It's not like somebody literally just showed me where he is. You do indeed have your nest egg, so sweet. And yeah, desktop kind of needed anyway. Seriously, as I'm typing this, Twitch keeps freezing and my typing is lagging. That's so bad, man. Yeah, no, get you get yourself a nice little desktop that you can uh, that you can actually use. And it'll be nice to be able to do it for other things too, using it with your schoolwork and whatnot. I'm sure it would be helpful. Something that runs a little bit more smooth. Welcome, travelers. Have you heard the rumors, Aang? People are saying, he Ryu. Hi, Ryu. <laughs> I don't... Is this meant to be Japanese? Oh, Lord. English is failing me tonight. I mean, what's new? But is this meant to be Japanese? I don't actually remember. Yes, I've heard. Please, Aang, you have to find him. I'm really worried. We're lucky to have you, Goodbye. Avatar. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Let's talk to this Stay dude, I guess. I mean, he's here waiting for us. 
Japan news. <laughs> Hello there, Ang. I didn't want to interfere with your training, but I need your help. Yeah, I'll be back late now. <laughs> What's wrong? One of our waterbenders has gone missing. He left to hunt hours ago and has not returned. And where did he go hunting? Help. <laughs> You could factory reset this laptop and use a school laptop purely without causing it issues with everything else. That's a decent idea, too. A lot of times, too, just factory resetting a laptop or desktop or whatever can make it feel much newer. Because over the years, you know, it just gets loaded down with bloat and extra crap all the time and whatnot. So that's why, personally, I like to do that with my main rig once every... Uh, I used to do it once almost every, about every year, but lately I've been doing it every couple of years. Last thing one saw, he was headed northeast, I believe. He just received a quest. Press select. I almost said triangle. Oh, lord. Huh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're good. I got this. Press select to open your journal. Oh, no. Did dad go on a hunting trip and never come back? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think it's Aang's dad, considering, you know, Aang's parents are gone to a long, for, for a long time. Just a little while now. Dad went to the grocery store for milk. Read your journal. I saw <laughs> shit. I saw a meme uh, where if your if your girl calls you daddy, then you can just one day say you're going to the grocery store for milk or to the corner store for a pack of cigarettes or whatever, and then just never come back. Like <laughs> you can do that. That's perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Which, uh, bruh. <laughs> Sounds like they need Sam and Dean to the rescue, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think Ang can uh, can handle it here. Can't say for sure, but you think you never call me daddy then? Not that I would ever do that to you anyways. It had to be pretty rude to do that to someone, but <laughs> it'd be funny though. What was the button we were supposed to press? There was a uh, triangle, right? Yeah, pretty sure it was triangle. I hope it was triangle. Oh, oh, focus move, let's go. Aang doesn't have the right skills to perform that focus move. He'll need to wait for an others to join his party. Well, that's annoying. I'm glad that there's, like, reasons to come back around and do stuff, but still. Hello. Hello there, Avatar. Fine morning, in it. Uh, I'm a BRBR. I'm going to restart your browser and clear your cookies to see if this fixes the lag. Yeah, yeah. Take your timer. I'm looking for the guy that went missing. Can you tell me things? He's one of our best hunters. He usually stops by with tales of his latest hunting adventure, but I've not seen him yet today. I know he likes hunting around the caves to the north. If you see him, tell him to stop see by, you. won't you? I mean, he might be dead. Watch I'm out. just saying. Uh, I wanted to ask, actually, how I could earn money, but it seems you won't let me ask that now, since I asked you Welcome. about the dude. Well, Mad Avatar, what can I do for you on a fine day such as this? How can I earn money? Well, I know the trader's looking for new wares. You could try selling him goods. Yes, you'll need money to buy stocks and armor for your journeys to protect and heal you. Uh, I didn't know we had stocks in this stranger. world, man. I can just be a stock trader? Can, does that mean I can stop being Please. the avatar and just, you know, day trade instead? Uh, okay, so it seems like everybody's kind of Don't be a stranger. telling me the same stuff. Also, she seems to have gotten a little stuck <laughs> with her pathfinding there. Just a little, a little bit broken. All right. I mean, it's an RPG. I feel like I should talk to everybody, but uh, at the same time, most of these people are kind of useless. <laughs> You're fighting a god currently? I mean, that's a little more epic than uh, Aang running around yeah. talking to people, having them tell him the same thing. You heard the rumors, Aang? People are saying, hear you, has gone missing. Uh, yes, I've heard. Please, Aang, you have to find him. I'm really worried. Thank you. Bless you, Avatar. Bye. I'm glad you're here. You're welcome, B. Hey. Fine morning. Yeah, you're just gonna tell me the same shit everybody else did. See, thanks for your help. See you. Okay, so like, it's better than expected so far, but it doesn't live up to you know <laughs> regular uh, action RPGs like games made specifically to be action cool. RPGs. Is so long the chill goes right to the bone. Although I think that's a pretty good pick for a genre for an avatar game. At least you're fighting a god not not out in this mess. Very true. Very true. Hey, can you tell me stuff? Well met. Just the person I wanted to see. I wonder if you could do me a favor. Sure. What is it, man? Well, I'm trying to practice this new bending move, but it would be much easier if I had some ice crystals. Uh, okay. Where? 
Usually inside cracks in the ice, but they're very hard to find. Maybe we could get Momo to help. Press L1 and circle at any time to enter Momo mode. Oh man, Momo mode? I'm all for Momo mode. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Momo can find secret hidden items. Do we have like a certain amount of time in Momo mode? Can we like jump in Momo mode? Oh. Doesn't seem like it. So I'm assuming Momo can just go places like Aang can't because he's tiny. But or can can he like actually see things too that that we can't? I don't know. How do we exit it? Do we L1 and circle again, it seems like. Okay, fair enough. Uh we just saved. It's fine. I doubt we'll die. I'm sure it'll be okay. This area is uh pretty large actually, man. Is that another save point? Holy shit. Put them everywhere. Mini map helps you find your way. Follow the quest arrows if you get lost. Is that what the, the green thing is? The quest arrows? How do we go through? Oh, you have to use the stick. I like using the D-pad in menus, so I'm kind of disappointed with that, actually. To be honest, I would have been if my tag didn't expire. I mean, yeah, but I do have updated tags, Noodle. <laughs> like, I haven't put it on, but I do have them, you know. So. Oh, that's neat. We can kind of get a little bit more info about uh, the area room. Let's test this out. Also, what hasn't he changed in two years? <laughs> My tags for a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no worries. I don't know what you were thinking, but it's nothing. <laughs> nothing that bad. Hello there, Aang. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Not much at all since Zhao's attack on the northern tribe. Show me what you have left then, I guess. To buy an item, highlight it and press X. It compares on the right. You can also sell shit over here. Cool. Um, treasure map is 50. I imagine we'll be able to get treasure. <laughs> I don't know what the wick does. Can we, like, uh, catch things on fire with it or something? We can buy a headband. We don't have a headband yet. Uh, this is much better than what we have, but that's also expensive as hell. Panda boots? <laughs> those are, those are some cute boots there, man. <laughs> and then just some regular boots. What's the, uh... Oh, the regular boots are so... Or the panda boots are so much better, though. We gotta get the panda boots. And a lemur ring. That's cute. Uh, we'll buy... We'll buy the, the panda boots. Buy and equip. And then we'll get the, the headband. Buy and equip. We'll get those. I guess. We'll save. We'll save. Well, I mean, I guess we don't really have any other money. If we did, we would be saving it, though. The honey... Is that, like... Is that just to sell? I don't see a junk tag here anywhere. <laughs> Bye! Do you remember that episode of Family Guy where Peter and his friends made a bet on things with their thought was underwear because of that? No, I uh, uh, I mean, if you want TMI, I, I don't wear underwear, so... <laughs> I mean, Mr. Noodle's not entirely wrong, but only because I don't. Like... <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, but y'all brought it up. Uh, da -da -da. Southern tribes used to send their benders up here for training too. Used to? Why not anymore? The long journey is just too dangerous now. What with the war and all? Who knows? Maybe someday the war will end and we'll meet Until up again. Next time. Oh, how sweet. Um, okay. I'm not gonna keep exploring this area. We need to go out into the wilderness. If you can get away with it, you don't wear pants. See, I pretty much always wear pants, like sweatpants or, or something. But, uh... Yeah, I don't wear socks, though, unless I absolutely have to. Or if I'm wearing shoes. Like, I'm not gonna go around wearing shoes without socks. Like, that's that's weird, man. But, uh, <laughs> but I hate, I hate, I hate socks. They're just in, extremely uncomfortable to me, man. I mean, if I didn't have to wear shoes for, like, safety reasons and to, to be and like stores and stuff like that, I would probably wear shoes very rarely as well, <laughs> just to be honest. So we got a special attack now, and that's our purple bar, which looks like it slowly heals over time, so no problem there. I think the hunting thing is up here, so I'm gonna go this way, actually, do the side quest or whatever first. Nate, you also run into cops too much to risk it. Very true, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you need to be careful with that, man. You have some bad luck with the cars. Ruin new, new, that, 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 yep, words. Words are things that I speak. 
but they're not always English. <laughs> you need shoes and socks and now slippers. <laughs> her with her slippers, man. She steps on one little mouse tail. And now she can't move without slippers on her feet. Like, I think you'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. You had to put pants on to get the gift Nate left on the porch that one day? That's... <laughs> I, I mean, you didn't have to put pants on to go get it, to be fair. Like, you were just on our porch, Peace, and you were right. wearing underwear, so, like, you know. Uh, I'm looking for this guy. Ah, nice bloke. Dark hair. I know him. What's this about? Missing? I don't really know him very well, so I don't think there's much I can do to help. Anything's helpful, though, man. I try talking to my friend Leku. <laughs> Leku? Leku? Leku. <laughs> He's fishing farther west down this track. When you get to the big ice mounds, we'll turn north. Alright, thanks for the thanks for the help. Boo, no pants gang needs to stay strong. See Noodle, you should have just went out without the pants, man. It would have been okay. There's always screaming neighbors on our road. It's not that bad. It's pretty rare there's anybody actually screaming. I mean they might be like yelling at their kids or or their kids might be running around or whatever, but I mean, whatever. It's not like they've never seen somebody in their underwear before. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> That's when you traumatize the children. <laughs> I get the feeling sometimes that Rue isn't the biggest fan of children. I don't know. It's just a just a just a thought. Gotta gotta concentrate on these uh these quick time events, man. You heard a lady yelling the other day. But like, what was she yelling about? Was she yelling about her kids or at her kids? Because I'd be willing to bet that she probably was. <laughs> See, with my dudes, you don't rock socks with them. Socks? Wait, what? <laughs> See, with my hey dudes, I don't rock socks with them. Socks suck. <laughs> I, I, I don't... <laughs> are hey dudes like a type of shoe or something like that? I don't know. I don't know what they are, but yeah. Hey dudes, shoes. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. It's been like two days since your last cop encounter. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, <laughs> I don't think that's good though. Hello, travelers. <laughs> your stepbro used to live up here, and he's probably one of the screaming neighbors. Awesome, established dominance, and you sir are correct for the most part. You find children annoying little shits. You make exceptions, but still, I'm pretty good with children, honestly. Hey, dudes or shoes, love. I see that. I didn't know that, but I see that now. Greetings, look at that view. Breathtaking, isn't it? Sorry, forgive my manners. I'm Leku. <laughs> what can I do for you? Hey, Leku, you can do this for you. Uh, he, <laughs> he was a good friend of mine. I saw him earlier today. Said he was headed north to the caves for some serious hunting. Have you seen him since? No, I haven't. Missing? Well, I'm glad you're on the job, Avatar. Try checking the northern caves. He goes there often. Okay, thanks. Not to mention your tired people asking when you're going to have some. Never. <laughs> I'm a greedy bitch who wants to spend all my money on video games and stuffies for me. Yeah. We, uh, Noodle and I get that every once in a while, too. We've talked about it. Children, someday, maybe. But, you know. It's not, uh, it's not on our list of priorities at the moment, though. <laughs> they smell like wet dog in the summer? I hope you're talking about the children. <laughs> Hello there. You're a long way from town. What brings you out here on such a cold morning? Uh, who the hell are you? Just a lonesome fisherman trying to make his catch. Sorry, but I've got to bit, get bit back to work. Get bit back to work. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't mind. I've been having a lot of trouble lately making my catch. Something's not quite right. The sea has been unusually calm, and I can't get my nets out to where the fish are. Tell you what, if you can push my nets out far enough, I'll give you a little oil for your trouble to keep you warm at night. Just let me untie the nets for you. Aw, I'm, I'm happy to help, man. Untie them, bitches. Let's go. Okay. Uh, go. yep. Focus move. Let's go. X. Square. X. Circle. Bro, we are freaking killing it here. We have cats there, children. Wow, that was great. Thanks. You've only been ticketed twice for all your encounters with them. I've never been ticketed, thankfully. I've been pulled over a couple times. Once wasn't my fault at all. I was driving someone else's vehicle, and apparently they had a blown uh, light bulb in the the above the license plate. So like, not something I would have even noticed unless I specifically checked for it. And then another time, they pulled me over because they thought that I was giving them high beams for some reason. I don't know why. 
but once I was like, bro, you can look, my high beams are off, he's like, oh, sorry, have a nice night, so, like, I don't know, and then the one time I was pulled over for speeding, but they just let me go, they were just like, hey, don't do that again, and I was like, okay, you love them, but you're still mad at them, the, <laughs> just for, just for doing their job and catching a little mouse, man, Airbender, eh? Well, that was an impressive display and a surprise to say the least. No, thank you. This catch will benefit our village greatly. Here's the lamp oil, as promised. If you ever do decide to have a kid, it'll be after you had your tubes tied or the whole damn organ taken out, and you'll be adopting one of the millions in the foster care system. And yes, noodle cats for life. <laughs> oh, I uh, I tried to talk noodle into letting me get fixed, but she wasn't into the idea. So, can we do can we do Momo here? What's Momo got? It? Can he eat anything? I'm guessing Momo won't get along too well with the with the wolves and stuff. Oh no, they actually don't care like at all about Momo. So, oh, I don't know. Like it said that we had to get between ice things or whatever, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know where. I don't know, man. I don't actually know what I'm looking for with Momo. Also, these fishermen need to be more easy, unless they're friends with the wolves, but... Like, they don't like me very much, so I have to assume they wouldn't like the fishermen very much either. Seatbelt ticket and failure to control when you hit black guys. See, I always think that's bullshit. The failure to control whenever it's something like that. It's one thing, like, if it's a perfectly clear day and you mess up and, and wreck your vehicle or whatever, but... Like, when it's icy out, man, it's... What the hell are you supposed to do when you hit black ice, you know? Even the best of drivers is gonna lose control every now and then in that situation. Like, yeah, there's things you can do to try to get out of it and regain control or whatever, but I, it's not simple. Sound like your sister she said she'll be all for a partner carrying and adopting, but will never carry herself. Why does Aang look constantly surprised? Also, this snip, way. snip. <laughs> Your sister's mood. <laughs> if you get a partner, they would most definitely be the one carrying. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. Kids are cool. Like I said, I get along with kids. I like kids, but they're just, they've never been a priority for me. Now, if I want to take care of children, I have enough friends and family members with kids. I'm sure if I go and ask one of them, they'll be happy to let me borrow it for a bit, you know? <laughs> so... <laughs> she's always in a mood too yeah some real sisterly love there man both are bs in your opinion and just money grabs i mean the the seatbelt ticket i understand i do think for an adult it should be up to them at the end of the day um oh cool we can lock on i don't didn't realize that um because i mean if you're a consenting adult and you've been taught that hey by not wearing the seatbelt you make your likelihood of dying tenfold or whatever the hell it is and you still choose to not wear it then you know i feel like that should be up to you but the failure to control is just stupid regardless like no matter what Stream, what was wrong with this one? I don't get it. Wait, what? Oh, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't look over at the other screen. Um, That part sounds like my sister Noodle. Also, same here. My cousin has two. He doesn't even take care of that. Idiots on Florida. Uh, Noodle minus and idiots. It flagged both of those. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, Yeah, sure. I mean, those are both fun. Noodle minus... How is that a block term? I can understand idiot because of potentially, you know, calling somebody an idiot. But, like, noodle minus? That's weird. That's weird. Don't know, man. But you're good. <laughs> you understand if it's one of your kids, but for you it's just a money grab. Yeah, and I mean, that's basically what I was saying, you know. Like, you're, you're an adult. You understand that you're putting yourself in danger by not wearing a seatbelt. So, for it to... Uh, to be fined for that is kind of dumb. Technically, when I got pulled over, the cop did tell me to put my seatbelt on before I left. But I was wearing my seatbelt, because I do always wear my seatbelt. I've just uh, had a bad habit since I was a disorderly teenager of any time I get pulled over, uh, 
being ready to get out of the car. <laughs> so as soon as I stopped the car, I took off my seatbelt. And uh, obviously he saw that I wasn't wearing it after whenever he came to the car. So he politely reminded me that I needed to put my seatbelt on. Are you slurring me? I don't... <laughs> oh. Automod, you ready to fight? Bring it. <laughs> now, now, y'all just need to learn to get along. We can all be friends here. You go back and forth. I'm wearing it. When I was younger, I, I didn't pretty much ever, but I was, I don't know, you know, I was a dumb teenager like any other. So, nowadays, I don't see the harm in it. Like, man, it, sure, it's a tiny bit less comfortable, but, like, I could also not die in a situation where I would have otherwise, you know? So lamp oil seems to do nothing. So I'm assuming that's just shit to sell, like the lamp oil and the honey both. And then we got health and chi medicine. That's nice. It'd be nice. I don't know if they have it or not. It doesn't seem like it, but it'd be nice if they had a system to, uh, to add them to like a hot bar or something so we could use them quickly. So it doesn't look like we're wearing a ring, so we might as well put on the lemur ring. Uh, ooh, the dragon ring gives us more chi and focus, but we lose armor. I think we'll just keep the lemur ring. That's fine. Then the heavenly pendant, we're not wearing a pendant. So yeah, definitely put that on. We got robe and boots. Uh, yeah, nope, that's all trash. And then we can't do anything with attributes, right? Like, are we ever going to be able to level these up or something? Or do they just have the screen so we can read what they all do? I don't know. Nana basically pounded it into your head to always wear your seatbelt. She would sit in her driver's seat and just wait, even if it was a school day. That's, I mean, she's doing it for your best uh, intentions, though. But <laughs> maybe it's a trade, trade item for a quest. I was thinking that potentially, too, at first. But um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know if uh, they have, like, a key item list here or anything like that. You should block them. I guess we'll find out eventually. But for some reason, I'm feeling like this game wouldn't, you know, have the key items. For some reason, I kind of feel like it wouldn't even have a, a uh, item for quests, but... Oh, okay, so we can break this shit, too. Let's break them all. Um, so, through cracks in the ice is where you find ice crystals or whatever the hell it was that Momo was one, or we needed Momo to find. Is there any around here? We can go ahead and see what's coming up. There, I'm guessing that's a clue for something. Whatever quest we're on or whatever. You've heard so many things from both sides, which is why you have one on sometimes and other times you don't. Like going down your hill, you'd rather have it off because you're more likely to survive bailing out than you are staying in belted. Yeah, <clears throat> like there are definitely situations where being able to get out of the car quickly could save your life. But um, I don't know, man. I guess, you know? But, like, you could also just take your seatbelt off if you started to lose control of the car or something like that. I worry more about other people on the road anyways than I do myself, you know? Generally speaking, I'm pretty confident in my driving ability, but I don't necessarily trust all the other people on the road to drive reasonably. Like... <laughs> She probably grew up in the days before it was really enforced. Maybe she's seen some shit. I'm, yeah, maybe. Or, you know, regardless, it seems like she just had your uh, your health in mind there. So we picked up something that's most definitely a quest item. Did it put it in a special area or anything like that? Okay. And she health, honey. So that's just... Oh, man. I hate using the stick to go through menus. So it just didn't put it in here at all, it looks like, if it's a key item. We got it, but we can't do anything. Oh, wait, no, it's right there in front of me. God, I'm blind. Okay, so yeah, I guess maybe the blue stuff are quest items then. Either quest items or rare items, but I'm assuming quest since they don't have, like, any text or, or anything. Quest items cannot be dropped. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's another way to tell right there. Yeah, so it seems like blue is quest. Now we know. She probably grew up in the day. Oh, wait, I already read that. But like on highways or something, you definitely think it could help. Yeah. I, 
Again, I think in most situations it's better to have it on than to not, but I I can see I can, I'll concede that is that there are certain situations where uh not wearing one could be beneficial. Uh strange marks lead into a deep dark tunnel. I see that, but can I do anything with it? It doesn't seem like it. I'm not allowed to go down there or do anything, so this way. She grew up in the day of no seatbelts and saw some shit. Not to mention your mother had her fair share of crashes and never wore her seatbelt. And while she somehow avoided an injury, your grandmother would always get on her ass for it. <laughs> oh, level up. Aang's eagle attack has been upgraded to tiger attack. Uh, I don't think, like, the eagle tiger attack or whatever is something we can actually do. Is that just our normal attack or something? up a normal robe headband and one copper just one single copper yeah, i've been lucky man i've never been in any real car crash uh, at least not that involved other vehicles i've been in a couple ditches but uh, hardly any injuries or anything like that like i got a little sore one time from going in a ditch but outside of that i've never been injured in a vehicle and uh i hope it stays that way Twitch on your laptop is being a jerk again. That sucks, bro. You wore it more often as a kid when you rode with your speed demons. <laughs> Aren't you a bit of a speed demon, though? Like, I don't know, Nate. <laughs> just saying, man. From what I've heard, you, uh, you tend to speed just a little bit. Been in the car when it crashed into a couple buildings, but it's fine. I mean, one of them was your fault. <laughs> one of them definitely wasn't your fault at all. But another one of those situations was uh, almost entirely your fault, love. <laughs> I'm gonna restart it. You'll be here on your phone, though. I hope it uh, works for you, Rue. That sucks, man. Just think, here soon you'll have a nice desktop, and hopefully we'll never have to deal with these issues again. You are a speed demon, but you drive just about, or better than just about every person, excluding, like, two people. I mean, I think, I, I've never ridden with you, so I, that very well could be true, I don't know. But I think most drivers think that they're good drivers and other people aren't, you know? <laughs> so, like, not going to say you're not a good driver, but I think that's just a, a, a thing that most people believe. And obviously, not everybody is good drivers, because... <laughs> I mean, you've been on the road more than I have. You've seen your fair share of shitty drivers. <laughs> Noodle, how? Yes, Noodle. How did you drive into a building, love? <laughs> care, care to explain that to the class? I... Hello again. I'd like to trade, please. I would like to sell you a bunch of stuff. Does it show us what we're wearing? I'm assuming the stuff we're wearing we can't sell. Should I sell the honey and silk? It seems like it's just trash. I'll hold on to it for now, but I think I'm probably going to end up selling it. And then, yeah, the dragon ring and lemur ring, I guess I'm just going to sell those because, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm already wearing one. So unless I can equip them to the other party members or the other the other people, uh, Katara and whatever her brother's name you. is that I'm forgetting at the moment. Unless I can equip them to them at some point, then I don't really see the point in carrying it around. The first time? <laughs> Wait, did you crash into a building twice? Well, not the time that wasn't your fault at all. Because the one time, I mean, obviously wasn't your fault. But uh, whenever you crashed into the building. That's the story I think uh, <laughs> we want to, or at least that I want to hear. <laughs> The multiple accidents with your mother was proof enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we get easy. junk, lemur amulet, bear skin choker, robe, and four copper. Five copper. Two copper. <laughs> four copper. Okay, it just keeps coming. Um, I So, a bear skin choker. I feel like Aang wouldn't be wearing the choker just from, like, the show. Oh, no, he can wear the choker. Okay, I was thinking maybe that was something, like, specific to Katara, because in the show, Katara wears chokers. Huh. 
I don't know. Maybe you can equip stuff to them, but it's just one shared inventory. I don't know. I'll keep a hold of it for a little bit. Was in fifth grade and just got out of the hospital with pneumonia. Autocorrect isn't working. And her mother had to run into the bar real fast and she didn't put the car in park and it rolled and stopped at the post office wall. Yep, that was the first time. But why did she go into a bar? Yeah, well, you see, Hooray, some people have this thing where they just drink at the worst time possible and not think of the consequences of what they're doing. Um, sorry, I should be nice. But, yeah. Anyways, the second time though, love. Yeah, what happened the second time? How did you, uh... How'd you end up in a in, in, in running into a building the second time? Hello, travelers. Ah, goodbye. You have nothing neat to tell me, and uh, you have nothing neat to tell me. All the best to you. Okay, I'm going to Master Way. At least everyone you rode with as a kid. Now some people you rode with as an adult are good drivers. Can't believe Master We agreed to train a girl. We, Master Time We is his name, change. not Way. My bad. Need all the water vendors. Yes, she had her permit and was practicing. Your mom wanted you to pick up some pot for her before your shift, and somehow the gas was hit and it went into the side of your work building. Somehow. Who was behind the wheel when it somehow went into the side of the building there, love? <laughs> won't do anything. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> How could the gas pedal have possibly get got uh, have gotten hit? Could your foot have maybe uh, hit the gas pedal there? Just a, <laughs> just a, just a crazy thought. <laughs> you can forgive her because it was a permit. Stay I mean, <laughs> accidents happen, but yeah, like, come on, man. Uh, is this pouch his? I also found a machine part. Do you want to know about both or just like, I guess just one at a time, huh? Oh dear, Mr. would never leave this behind. You hate to assume the worst, but you fear something terrible might have happened. Perhaps he was hurt or taken. Did you see anything else? I found a machine part. How very strange. I've never seen anything like it. Did you find any other clues? Well, no, I did find one more. Goodbye. Be safe, children. We have found all the set items in the chapter, but what about the, the, the tracks leading to the hole? What do we do with that? So, speak to villagers around town. Crystals remaining to be collected. Eight. Uh, if we go to our map, does it tell us where to go for that one? It does not. We've gotten three of the four hidden chests. We know where the other hidden chest is. We just can't collect it yet. So, she didn't tell her boss, but one customer witnessed it. I'm surprised the customer didn't tell your boss. Like, hey, this lady out there just rammed the side of your building with her vehicle. Like... <laughs> To be honest, I probably would have. I would have snitched on you. <laughs> Feel that all too well. You're the child of an alcoholic, and your brother's dad was an alcoholic. Grab drinks at the worst time. Yeah. He just kind of got out of the way and left. I mean, fair. Yeah. No, if I just saw a crazy lady run into a building and then kind of stare me down, I'd probably want a GTFO too. So. <laughs> Who knows? The crazy lady could be coming after me next, man. And I ain't need none of that smoke, you know? Hi. Glad you stopped by. You hear old Min could do with a little help lighting her lamp. Would you drop by and see her? Sure. Her place is on the west side of town, over a little bridge. Thanks, man. Is it going to give us a a pointer? Like, show us where to go on the map or something? I will well, guide no? My okay. Team. Well, I mean, we're, we're heading west, right? Here's a little bridge. Is this you? Do you need help lighting a lamp? I'm glad the avatar's here. You? Hello, Aang. I've heard much of your talents from the townsfolk. Like what? Please, give me your praise, kind sir. People are impressed by your abilities and the speed at which you're you us. learn. Thanks, man. Uh, is that all you gotta say? You don't wanna... You don't wanna give me some more praise? Which one of you need help? One of your mom's boyfriend was an alcoholic and put you off sure drinking at all. You're gonna remain the sober baby. friend forever. I don't drink either. It's not that I have a problem with drinking as long as you're responsible with it. I just don't personally really care for it, man. Plus, I hate dealing with drunks. So, like, yeah, I don't want to be one either. <laughs> Got the pop, came back out, went to your mom's for a couple of hours, and then went to work. You rarely drink, yeah. Watch the game Stop Worker Slam. Oh, GameStop Worker. Man, I read that all wrong. <laughs> the store, GameStop 
watched someone that worked there slam into a pole of sheets, and then we just both looked at each other and was like, yep, that happened. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, sure. Where's Ming? Her place is on the west side of town, over a little bridge. You couldn't just say, like, this little old lady right here? I mean, maybe it's not Ming, but I'm thinking it you? is. Burr, it's a bit cold, isn't it? Uh, where's your burner, lady? I've run completely out of lamp oil. Without that oil, I can't burn a fire inside my home. Oh, well, it just so happens that I have some oil. How on earth did you get that? It's so scarce lately. Will you sell it to me? No. Mm -mm. Can I exit out of this menu? I don't. Screw her. I don't want her to have my oil. Uh, It's mine. I worked for it. Some dude gave it to me. I really don't know what I'm going to use it for, but, like, you look funny, so. <laughs> I can't. Guess we don't have an option. We can't do an evil playthrough of Avatar, man. I'm disappointed. Oh, thank you, Aang. I've been freezing my socks off without this. Need anything else? Actually, there is one more thing. Could you please go to the trader and buy me some wick? Sure, where can I find him? Here, take this copper. It should be enough. You'll find the trader in the northern part of town. Don't okay, be a bye. stranger. Do we have wick? No. We saw the wick, but we didn't buy any. Or anything. Or pick any up at any point. Yeah right yeah 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 okay i mean couldn't you just use like some of these robes that i'm carrying around for absolutely no reason but he doesn't seem to be making much of an effort with his training he was super annoyed with me after my friend's wedding we just got back in your car and left you have a shot once in a while nate that's usually after being pestered to do it i drank a fair bit when i was younger and that was more than enough for me it's so <laughs> i don't cool. feel the need to Thank pretty much so ever again right call it quest item How do you warm up your dream body? she's a shivering old lady I mean, fine, but go get her own damn oil, man. All she had to do was throw some freaking net out into the freezing water. And this kind old man, well, old man, adult man, he wasn't that old. Anyways, he'll just give her some oil. Like, didn't have to do all that much work even. Like, people be lazy, I swear. <laughs> I'm joking. I gave her the oil, okay? Look. I don't mind giving some oil to little old ladies. The most you drank was your 21st birthday. And then when your buddy thought he could outdo you in shots, you won. Most I drank, I was probably 18. That was the, the last time I was drunk. I was 18 years old. And I was really, really drunk. More drunk than anybody ever should be. It, there was no reason for me to be that drunk. But uh, I was... And uh, I kind of stopped drinking after that. Not specifically because of that experience, but... Yeah, just kind of happenstance. Is there... Like, if we go to the map, will it show us how to get to the trader? I think he's over here, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're heading the right way. Got it. Uh, yeah, I would like to buy some stuff, I guess. Um, some wick. The treasure map also is blue, so I'm assuming that'll be a quest item, so we might as well buy that while we're here. And the wick. And, oh, you got... Oh, man, I wish I could buy the blue woven gi, but... Oh, he got all kinds of new crap, huh? Sun amulet now? Or was that the amulet he had before? I don't actually remember. Does he sell... It looks like he keeps all the stuff we sell him, so if we sell him something that we decide we end up needing, we could buy it back, perhaps? Um... I think, I mean, usually I prefer strength to armor, but I'm not going to worry about it. Set bonus, one of six. Agility, plus one. Regen, plus two. That's pretty neat. We'll keep a hold of that, too. Yeah, I'm thinking this silken shit's just for sale. I'm still going to hold on to it, because I'm a... Come again. I'm a bit of a hoarder, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. That's the alcoholic blood running through you. We can handle a decent bit. <laughs> <laughs> inherited a tie hi a tie hollerance guys you inherited that tie hollerance oh fuck me um anyways drank probably a bottle worth of jack on your birthday i think that's where the tolerance comes from yeah for me it was nearly all but about two shots of a bottle of wild turkey 101 but he doesn't seem to be uh so 50.5 uh percent alcohol whiskey it's uh it was some pretty strong stuff and uh i remember the first few shots after that i don't remember much of anything except for randomly throwing up in different places of my house and that's about it <laughs>
Did you miss stream butchering English again? I'll still count it. Stream can't speak English example number five. I almost screwed it up trying to say what that. <laughs> Did you manage to buy some wick? I did. It was a hard task, ma'am, but I, I accomplished it. You can finally light your fire again. You keep the change, Ang, for your troubles. Goodbye. Appreciate the tip, lady. Noodle doesn't really do the hard liquor. That was my preferred alcohol when I did drink. I was never a huge beer fan. There were a couple beers that I enjoyed, but I, I definitely preferred the taste of whiskey. Whiskey or mixed drinks, either one. Okay, Twitch, don't be a bitch. <laughs> they finished off a whole bottle of Arbor Mist not too long ago with a couple of smearing off ices. Kept getting double and triple shots all night. Wasn't real hitting until about the 10th one. Wasn't drunk till well after that. Yeah, I mean, Please help me. my uh, my tolerance definitely isn't that high. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't come from... My great-grandpa was an alcoholic. But other than that, I don't think I really come from a family of alcoholics or anything like that. Please help us. Although I don't know on my dad's side. He could be a raging alcoholic for all I know. I mean, <laughs> shit. How would I know? Aang, Sokka needs your help on the front wall. He's surrounded. Hurry. I'm on my way, Mr. Man. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Lights were really pretty on the way home. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, when you're so drunk, the lights are looking pretty, man. I think you, uh, I think you just need to stop. I don't know. When I, I also have a tendency of blacking out. It's just uh, the way my brain's wired. It's all messed up. So I have a tendency to not remember things anytime I, uh, I get drunk. Um, other substances will also do that to me. It's uh. My, my brain wave patterns aren't normal, so I have a, uh, a tendency to to black out. And I was warned when I was younger that I could have brain seizures as well. But um, I, as far as I know, I've never had any, though, thankfully. So, yeah. That's good, I guess. <laughs> and I was told that when I was quite young, and I'm not so young anymore, so... Uh, Fingers crossed, I'll never have to, uh, figure out what that's like. I feel like murdering all these firebender dudes for the experience. I don't really think we need to fight all of them, but, uh, I mean, it's an RPG game, so I'm gonna murder everything I can see. That's how you do in RPGs. Ah, it's all blocked off! You've never been so drunk, the lights are pretty. <laughs> I mean, I said me neither. Not that I can think of, at least. I've been drunk enough to forget absolutely everything and throw up all over the place. But, uh, am I missing a life experience? No, I don't think you are, man. Honestly, like, I, w I don't even know if being drunk is a uh, life experience that's worth it. <laughs> like, uh, just a uh, personal opinion here, you know? I, I would be perfectly fine if there was no alcohol in the world, like, well, no drinking alcohol. Alcohol for cleaning and whatnot is uh, extremely helpful. Bro, you had tea in your mouth? Don't do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. I'm really hoping that we end up unlocking some more moves at some point because, uh, yeah, the the combat's a little a little basic here, man. It's basically just go to a dude and hit X repeatedly, and then when you have energy, do that right there. That, like, and that's pretty much it. It looks like these guys also infinitely respawn. So, uh, in before we do a crazy all day grind session in this area and uh don't leave first town until we're level 99 also i'm over here talking about how the game seems a bit easy and we are about to die so <laughs> i guess i could uh take some medicine or something health plus 100 let's do it drink it up ang i think we got hit by like one of the the firebenders at a distance or something like that it looked like he might have used some sort of move at some point
may help that you appreciate lights in general, especially over water and you went over the bridge. Fair. I mean, lights can be very pretty, man. Christmas lights and whatnot, that's like one of the greatest times of year. Or one of the best parts about that time of year, I should say. Pretty sure you scared off the pizza man at the hotel at the bachelor party. Maybe that was drunk enough. What did you do to the pizza man? I rem kind of remember you mentioning the pizza man, but I don't really remember. I don't remember that well, at least. Did you scar that poor pizza man for life? Were you not wearing pants? Is that what happened? <laughs> uh, Jesus, Noodle, what did you do? Happy drunk. <laughs> I'm a happy drip. <laughs> Are you sure you're not drunk right now, Nate? Looks like you're having a little bit of problem spelling there, man. I'm not so, uh, not so convinced. Knocked on the door and you're like, pizza's here. Can I answer the door? Can I? Can I? Children, I swear. <laughs> Mid-20-year-old children. And he was gone. Didn't even get a tip from us. I can't... I can't imagine, like, <laughs> if that was my job, a pizza delivery guy, and most of my income comes from, you know, people tipping, I can't imagine I would just be willing to not get, take a tip for from people that are, like, trying to give it to me just because one of them was super excited to answer the door. <laughs> We're not ready to be adults yet. Honestly, that's a mood right there, man. I feel that in my soul. What do we got? We got a new whirlwind attack. Uh, did that even do anything? What was the point of that? It doesn't even look like that's doing damage. I I honestly don't understand that move. Like, we, we take the thing, we put it over our head, it's all cool. But then, like, yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like, the dude took no damage until I stopped and started just swinging my... My, my glider around normally. Weird. Well, the whole entire hotel smelled like weed and there's a drunk adult child yelling pizzas here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guessed. Like, he's probably tired of dealing with drunks and, and uh, stoners and whatnot. That's fair. I hate dealing with drunks, so like, I can't really blame him on that front. Hey Sokka, looks like you're getting your ass kicked, man. It was the best pizza ever, though. That's probably because you were drunk. <laughs> like, I doubt the pizza was actually that good. Oh, dude's got knocked out. Master Wei. Ours did too, but not from us, and there was a bag over a smoke detector. Hmm. Classy hotel right there. Ah, Nakatara! Bring me the girl. Everyone, back to the ship. Mm, what a dick. Hey. I don't remember his oh, name. No. I mean, he's like a main character in the show. I just I can't remember it. Sokka, join the party. Press the right directional button to control Sokka. I know the way. Okay, so can we equip you with shit, Sokka? We can! Okay, so I'm kind of glad I didn't sell everything. Buy Don Con Herb. I'm sure I'm butchering that, but... <laughs> uh, but it looks like just another junk item for us to sell. I'm assuming. Your whole thing is like strength. So you know what? I'll give you the bear amulet. And the four winds charm. I mean, it's the four winds. That has to go to Aang, right? So can we like swap party members from here we can okay so instead of just a regular charm you can have the four winds charm and then if we go back to Sokka you can have a regular charm and I mean <laughs> sure screw it he can wear the bear skin oh wait oh that takes the place of the charm or the the amulet never mind okay he'll take the the bear amulet we'll save the bear skin choker for Katara because it makes sense for her the bribe was either cheap or didn't read the reviews. No offense to her, of course. No, nah, it's okay. You can you can offend her. <laughs> uh, okay. Felt a little stuck there for a moment. So do you have fancy moves and things too? You do. 
if we hold R1, we can kind of see what they are. And I, I imagine if we went into the menu, we would be able to see exactly what, like, all of your points are in and all that BS. But, like, I don't care that much. You have no idea what she was thinking, Noodle? The whole weekend was a mess. <laughs> Y'all had fun, though, for most of it. So, like, you know. Sure, your hotel room smelled like some stank weed, but you had fun at the end of the day. That's all that really matters, right? Holy crap, we've been recording for an hour, streaming for an hour. I guess I was actually having more fun with this game than I realized. I do like kind of grindy kind of games, though. So, like, just the mindless uh, uh, tapping the X button to kill stuff repeatedly is so satisfying sometimes. I didn't even realize. So, you know what? I'm going to stand up real quick and take a real short break just for a minute or two. We'll run a bit of an ad to get rid of the, the pre-roll ads, and then we'll uh, we'll be right back with some more Avatar and BSing about life experiences, I guess. Into my life. I... I have killed... many people. For money, out of ignorance, out of evil, out of hatred. Figlio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I've seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. Your soul is on the right path. But father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O oh Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk alone and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. So wait, when he says I'm not of this earth, does he mean literally? Purtroppo la chiesa è chiusa. Quindi da domani, per favore. Benvenuto, vecchio amico mio. Why, why are they beating a priest? That, <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Seems a little ridiculous. Are they after me? I'm assuming they're after me. But yeah, are we not human or something? The hitman? The whole, like, I'm not of this world thing is what's got me confused. He says, all good. Like I said, it's my service. It's been a minute since I played that specific one, but Pro is always a challenge. Heck, that game is one where it is either easy or you're praying to your God. God's difficult. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So what you're saying is we're definitely screwed. Cool. <laughs> At least that's how it went for you. Yeah. I, I don't expect to fare a whole lot better, to be honest. I know very little about the Hitman franchise. Find the parcel. I mean, it was on the main floor, right? Just had to go back out the door here, I assume, the same way we came in. Through the keyhole? Okay, I don't see anybody. All right. We back? Everybody back? Got your bathroom break in, I hope. I stood up for a moment. Felt good to stretch, as always. I'm not feeling as bad today as I have some other nights, though, which is nice, you know? Usually after, like, an hour or two, my, my body, man, it just starts to tense up and just, mm, mm. You're busy, Noodle. What are you doing? You doing some crafts? Guess you're doing some crafts. Crafts. You're doing crap? <laughs> just shocked yourself? What the fuck, slippers? Oh, man. It's been, I mean, I don't know how cold it is out where you're at right now, but it's been very cold and dry here where we're at and uh that makes it so much worse with all the static build up and getting shocked all the time and shit so i feel you there stream can't hey. speak english example hey. sick look Over you're gonna here. run out of uh numbers eventually <laughs> welcome to our village you might go after katara but before you do i need you to tell i need to tell you about that dude the missing waterbender okay but like uh why are you saying welcome we've been here for how long now help during the invasion and all that are you just like did you forget me i don't i don't understand <laughs> don't be mad at the slippers they can be kid savers yeah <laughs> fuck them kids says rue <laughs> don't want no kid savers don't know where kids came from got kids on the mind apparently 
It's as we feared. He was taken, dragged into the massive hole out by the ice cave. I hate when I'm dragged into the massive hole, man. <laughs> We've tried, but it's too steep and goes on and on into nothingness. No natural being could penetrate the earth so. I'm not sure what it was, but be careful. We don't know what we're facing. Now hurry after Katara, but before you lose, or before you lose Zuko, sure. That's the dude's name. Good luck, both you and Aang. Remember, your training here isn't finished. Watch Katara. She Stay can teach safe. you. Thanks, man. Wait. Why is it telling us to go this way? Wasn't the massive hole to the north? I'm confused now. I need a... I need a map. What? Yeah, isn't it up by, like, Iceberg Cove or whatever? Why is it telling us to go down here? Maybe that's, like, something we do later? Find Appa so you can follow Zuko's ship. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Linky, go down the hole. Man, I miss Zelda games. I need to finish. You're going down. Uh, wow, memory, bad. Link, 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 Link's Advent, no. Mm -mm. The Switch game, the, the the Legend of Zelda Switch game, not, not Breath of the Wild. Holy crap, the remake of the old Game Boy game? Anyways, I was playing through it. I was having a lot of fun with it, but I never got around to finishing it. I need to, uh, I need to finish it, it's a lot of fun. Aang never took this seriously until you accidentally burdened Katara, I swear. I, honestly, though, like, very true. Maybe Dora can help you find the map in her backpack. <laughs> I'm a map. 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 No. Uh, Link to the Past? Yeah. Y yes? Is that it? That might be it. I can't remember. I, is that what it's called? I don't remember, man. I really don't. Legend of the Windfish? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, man. Legend of the Windfish? <laughs> are you talking about... Are you calling uh, the the giant flying thing whose name I've already forgotten? <laughs> it's a remake of the older game on 3DS. Legend of the Windfish? No, it's not a Zelda game, though, is it? giant flying whale at least dora has a backpack what oh lord yeah mr noodle ordered this backpack on pre-order like before christmas like a month before christmas and it still hasn't come in it's kind of ridiculous yes it is what no there's no way is it like a rom hack is that what you mean because i would have heard of a zelda game called legend of the windfish <laughs> legend of zelda windfish Oh, it okay. The character you're talking about the thing from Link's Awakening is what it is. Link's Awakening is the name of the game I was thinking of. Um but you're talking about the Windfish because yeah, yeah, it was called Link's Awakening. <laughs> the Windfish is just a thing in it. <laughs> Legend of Windfish. <laughs> you're killing me, Rue. Killing me. And then Skyward Sword, too. I need to finish that one, too, as well, actually. But uh, Link's Awakening, I would probably finish first just because I, uh, I had that one first and I played that one first. But the, I had a lot of fun with both of them, though, to be honest. I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map. I need to get Skyward Sword? You totally should. It's, uh, it is a lot of fun. It's a little weird because the way they did the controls, since it was originally a, you know, a, a motion-based game or whatever. Um, so it's a little weird, but it's still a lot of fun. You're welcome, stream. What are you welcoming me for? Defeat the machine. Holy crap! Throw, <laughs> throw the boomerang at it. We can just boomerang it to death. I don't have enough energy. This is this I'm is out. cheese as hell. It's got to be cheese. Like, oh nope, it's shooting at us. Oh, Ang, you idiot! You're gonna die, aren't you? How do I switch back to Ang? What button is Ang? I don't. <laughs> Why can't I switch to Ang? There we go. So I'm guessing whenever he's in this mode, he's like cool down or whatever. We can just beat the hell out of him and be fine. 
Like, it seems like it. Oh, oh, ow. Ow, rude. What the hell did I do to you, man? Just because I tried to kill you a little bit? You gonna, you gonna beat me up like that? I'll boomerang your face. Because obviously my boomerang can cut through steel. Like, <laughs> You're still singing I'm a map. Oh, yeah, for that. Yeah, that's all your fault. <laughs> I'm okay with blaming you for that one. I like that this game actually has a lock on, though. Is there a. Uh... I forget what game we were playing, but we played a game recently that definitely didn't have a lock on, and it was annoying. I feel like uh, him throwing the beam around. Boomerang uses next to no G, which I guess makes sense. I mean, you're just throwing a boomerang. You really need to use that much G. Also, Aang's apparently dead, so <laughs> the Avatar is dead, guys. Sorry. Um, hope you hope you didn't need him for anything too too serious, because he's a little bitch, and uh, he died. It's probably gonna be stuck in your head all night. Probably. It's better than uh, M O C K E Y. <laughs> M, M I C K E Y. Maki. <laughs> it's better than the Maki song. Ah, uh, the little heart. I need to yell at uh, Dorseman. Make him get the rest of those done for me. M O C. Things are getting more dangerous, You must M I C K E Y M O U S E. I hardly ever even watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, but it gets stuck into my head all the time. It's ridiculous, honestly. I don't even know why. It's not even like that good of a song. It just gets stuck in there and it doesn't leave. It's not like, uh, what's the other, the other song? Hydrate? We can hydrate. I'm down for some hydrating during a save, se uh, uh, thing. Save sequence. Save, save point. Whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I should probably just get into the habit of that in general. Drinking during save points. Good time to do it. You watched it a good bit when you were quote unquote sick from school. Fair. What was the other? What's the one with the really good song though? The little genius dudes. Uh, flying on a ship. My favorite rocket ship. How am I forgetting the words? There's like dubstep remixes and shit of it. It's great. Actually fantastic. Like. But I don't remember the name of it. Little Einsteins, that's it, yeah. Going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Flying through the skies. <laughs> oh. It's beautiful, beautiful. Need to load up the dubstep remix now. I need to sign up for that thing that lets me use Monster Cat music on my streams. I don't know if Monster Cat uh, owns the rights to that song, but... <laughs> To the to the little Einstein's dubstep remix, but it is amazing, Nate. We'll be less noticeable that way. Going on a trip on our favorite rocket ship, zooming through the skies. Little Einstein's, beautiful. It's great. Ten out of ten uh, theme song, man. Did they? I don't remember them taking Katara all the way to the Fire Nation or wherever we're at. Um, also, we can just turn invisible randomly. That's neat. It's a pretty cool power-up you got there, man. Find a safe spot before your stealth timer runs out. Okay. Can't, couldn't I just, like, kick their ass, though? Like, thank you for showing me how that works, but... Oh. Oh, no! Not more soldiers! That's fine. We'll just kill them all, man. It's an RPG. Let me fight. Why can't I move? Murder these fools. Okay, I feel like they are intentionally making us I'm too worn out. weak here. Like, I feel like we're getting frozen randomly in, in place. Deaded. So this dude, wait, can he not, can he not reach me from over there? So, <laughs> what are you going to do now, huh? You can't do nothing. I can just stand over here and throw my, my boomerang at you. From time to time. And you can't do shit because apparently your AI doesn't reach this far. <laughs> what trash. All of you. And here I am, stuck saving Aang's ass again. 
Oh yeah, I think they like stun me a little bit whenever they they hit me. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to drink a potion cuz we are about to die. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not that game menu. I thought that would take us to like this menu. Uh inventory, please, and health medicine. Drink it. Drink it right now. No, don't drop it. I just wanted to drink it. That's all. No droppy, more drinky. So, like, will Ang come back to life after we're done fighting or something? Or do I need to, like, I'm give him a tired. potion? Or can we just leave him there? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him there. Screw it. Oh, no, there he goes. Okay, he, he came back eventually. It's one of the easiest games to get all achievements on 360. I can imagine, honestly. Like, uh... Because the game seems fairly simple so far, and I'm assuming the achievements wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to guess... Get out of the way, Aang. That they're just kind of like, uh... I don't think throwing my boomerang at this will do anything. Maybe one I'm going to assume that they're just kind of like, uh... Follow me. Do everything in an area sort of Air things. You know, like, collect all the stuff and get the achievement, and that's all you really gotta do. Respawn a little slow, true, true. You haven't played it yourself. Hello. Welcome to our village. You've caught me on my daily walk to the beach. Anything I can help you with? A friend of ours was captured. We must find her now. Well, you can't do it dressed like that. You need Fire Nation uniforms. Otherwise, the guards will attack you on sight. Couldn't I just wear Earth Nation uniforms? I mean, that's what you're all wearing. So... I've seen two short soldiers near the barracks to the southwest. Their uniforms might fit. Thank you. We'll try. Some of those soldiers really smell. <laughs> Some of those soldiers fucking stink, man. Oh my god. <laughs> it was on one Xbox Outsiders videos. I don't know who that is, man. I'm assuming he makes stuff about the Xbox. Hey, I was asking somebody earlier, uh, a friend of ours, but I'll ask you, Nate. So I got that Xbox One, right? What are some Xbox One games that like that are exclusive to the platform that I should play? And Halo doesn't count, because I don't really care for Halo all that much. <laughs> Uh, let me see your wares, old man. Bit low on materials right now as our stock keeps disappearing. That's fine. Let's trade anyways. You have dark leather armor. That's cool. Why is your shop on the other... Was it always on that side? <laughs> Alright, well, we don't have that much money, so... See ya. Exit. Um, I do have Better a question, though. I saw something about crafting. You can craft stuff? Artisans and herbalists can craft special items if you bring them the right materials. Items the trader can craft are listed here. Look here to see what materials are needed. Here, an item crafted, pressed X, or whatever they said. Um, a silk and leather strips. Okay, so that's what the random junk items are. I'm glad we didn't end up selling them, because those could actually come in handy. Call of Duty, not exclusive. It's on all the platforms. I don't really play Call of Duty that much anyways, but... I think that's the name of the YouTube channel. One moment, though, you have to think on that. Yeah, because I was trying to think of it. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to Xbox or anything like that, but I've never, like, I, I can't think of any personally, and I've never had anybody tell me any games that are actually worth playing on Xbox, right? Like, Sony has God of War and Spider-Man and Gran Turismo, which that's one. I wouldn't mind trying Forza. I wouldn't mind trying that out. Um... But, you know, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, like, there's a lot of games on the different PlayStations, but I can't think of any on the Xbox One that I really want to play now that I have an Xbox One, you know? I mean, obviously, I, I do want to play through the Fable games. We did talk about that. And now that I have the Xbox One, I'll be able to play Fable 2. So that's one. Like I said, I wouldn't mind trying Forza, but honestly, Forza... I'll probably just end up getting that for PC or picking up PC Game Pass because I think it's on that as well. Um, I have to use the tax money to buy food but yeah. to replace what was taken. Just I curious if you could think of anything. Do you have quest or... Uh, will you help an old man out? Shh, depends what you need. It's the tomatoes. The tomatoes I use to make my famous soup. The bushes should be full of them, but no one can seem to Gee. find any. So, I have to go harvest tomatoes for you. Okay. I guess we're farmers now, guys. Shh, not so. Hello. 
Hi. <laughs> my cabbage. Oh, my lord. I forgot all about the cabbage guy. He lost his cabbage so many times in the show. <laughs> you need to watch the show sometime, Rue. It actually is great, man. These people be lazy. You're not kidding. Come to the village with your grandfather in the hope of buying some herbal soap. He needs it to ease his aching bones. Have you tried telling him not to be so old? That would probably fix it right there. No, the soldiers have taken it all for themselves. If only I could get into the barracks and take it back from them. Find some herbal soap. Okay, so we gotta sneak into the barracks just to steal some soap. That's, I, I mean, with all the artisans and crafters and whatnot around here, can really nobody make you some soap? Like, I know, like, I'm not saying I could go out and make some premium soap right this moment, but like, it's not that hard to make soap, though, you know? It only takes a couple simple ingredients, you just kind of mix the shit together. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth breaking into a freaking soldier's barracks for it. Dead Rising was really fun, and 3 was one of the few games that you could use the connect in if you wanted. I do not want to <laughs> use the connect. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying out Dead Rising. Was that a Xbox We're exclusive game time. though? I didn't think it was. It, it might be. I'm not sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it came to PC, but like a lot of Microsoft stuff did even back before they did the whole all games come to PC thing. So that's a fair example. If that is the case, you know, if it's only on PC and, and Xbox, but uh. Yeah, for some reason, I thought Dead Rising was on PlayStation, but I could very well be wrong on that, though. Oh, y'all suck. So, groups of guys can actually be a bit of a pain to deal with. But it seems like... Oh, man, Aang is freaking weak, isn't he? Oh, no, okay, so Aang can take damage. That's good to know. I thought when Aang was guarding, he wasn't taking damage, so I was just kind of blocking, not paying attention. Oh, if you just remind me of your grandmother's last cramp. <laughs> so I had to just hurry up and put her down like a horse, and that's stuck with you? Oh my lord, man, that's a, that's a little much. <laughs> my leg hurts so bad, just put me down. I'm done. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> oh. Are you asking a, a soldier of the enemy army to stop being a dick and be fair? She take herb? <laughs> a she take herb, guys. Just got that she take herb. They don't really have a lot of exclusives. Speaking of exclusives, it turns out the juiced racing game you were talking about is on PS2. It was an exclusive at one point at least. It, like I said, it very well may be an exclusive even up to this point. I just, I have no idea. Um, so wait, where are we going? So, okay. So, so there's Earthbender shit here, but they're surrounded by Fire Nation stuff. And these Fire Nation soldiers are significantly tougher than the ones that we fought earlier, it seems. So we should instead find the uniform, I guess. So we'll follow the quest marker. It's a long way of just saying, we'll follow the damn quest marker. <laughs> Maybe on PC now, we don't know if you got it on PlayStation. Juice tracing. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of it, man. I mean, you say you told me about it, and I'm sure you did, but I don't remember it. My memory's a little piss poor in case anybody didn't know that by now, <laughs> somehow. Oh, chests, break them, break them all. Break the chest, steal the stuff. <laughs> them heckin' shocks. Better head out early again, guys. You got work tomorrow, unless it's snow day. Hold up. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's like down there, but it's pretty bad here. I, uh, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna make it to work tomorrow myself, but... Guess we'll find out. Either way, if you do have to go, I appreciate you being here, Rue. And uh, we won't be going a whole lot longer anyways. I usually get off around 1.30-ish, so another 10, 15 minutes. You won't really be missing much either way. You were talking about in stream when I played Need for Speed. They have it at the local shop. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I vaguely remember you talking about it. Come on, snag a bargain. So, couldn't we just, like, use Momo? Do they get mad at Momo? No. Oh, but they're, like, actually patrolling. 
Didn't expect that. Hey, I didn't see you at the meeting last night. Yeah. Excellent. Hey, I didn't see you at the meeting last night. Uh, lots of dudes. We're about to lose. Oh, they see us. Run. <laughs> you run for it. Nope. I'm invisible. You can't see me. <laughs> What's the point of going invisible when they can't catch up with us anyways? No snow day. Later, guys. Don't freeze. Have a good night, Rue. And yeah, you as well. And be uh, be safe on your way to, to work tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I mean, we did just about die. I guess we'll I guess we'll do one quick save, just to be on the safe side, and try to get into the habit. I'll take a drink. Like I said, if it's exclusive to PC and Xbox. That's fine, you know, because Microsoft has that whole thing with bringing their games to PC, which honestly I think is a good thing because exclusives suck. But yeah, I was just trying to think of, of games in general because there's some games that I don't mind playing on console compared to PC, you know. So I was just trying to think of games in general that I could play on the Xbox One once I get it up and running. Fable 2, obviously, though, like I said, that one. I'll play Fable 1 and 3 on PC, probably, but I'll pick up Fable 2 eventually and uh, play that on the Xbox. We're having eggs again for dinner tonight. That's eggs cool. again for dinner tonight? Ugh. Trash. No, I actually like eggs a lot. <laughs> uh. Oh, we have to wait for the bar to refill entirely before we can go. Invisa mode again. And it's a 20 water. I'm not a huge fan of stealth games, out. so this is kind of not my not my People. thing here, sneaking around like this. I'd much rather just hey, murder everybody. Gears of War is really good. Had a good story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do agree with you on that one. I did think of that one a bit. Um, I know a couple of them came to PC even back in the day, but I would like to uh, I would like to play those ones. With them being shooters, though, I would prefer to play them on PC. Um, just because, you know, shooter games, PC, much better. But, uh... It a bit, but I the door's locked, perhaps the there's another way in. <laughs> uh, we're about to be visible! Run away! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! We gotta we got go! We gotta go! Run, Aang! Don't fight! Um, wait... Can we not go in over here? Oh, wait. Momo. Momo, Momo, Momo. Momo? Can I... How do I switch to Momo again? <laughs> Hard-boiled egg sounds really good right now. I agree, love. They do sound good. What? Momo can't fit through there either? What What use is Momo even then? Momo can't do shit. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can scout around with Momo, though, since the guards and whatnot don't seem to care about him at all. Him? Is it a him? I don't actually know that. It's kind of weird how we can hear them talking like gibberish with Momo, presumably because he can't uh, understand any of the words that are being said. Ah, oh, here we go. Open. Door's too heavy for Momo to open. Okay, but there's another door on the side. That's probably where we need to come then. You haven't played four or five yet, but played up to three and loved it. Got a little emotional in three for being a shooter. It does well in develop developing character attachments. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do want to play through those games, man. That's a that's a good one to point out. The only thing that always annoyed me about Gears of War, and it's not like anything actually bad about Gears of War, it's just that it uses the same abbreviation as God of War. You know, G O W Gear of Gears of War, God of War. That always annoyed me because anytime I'd search for like G O W three or something like that, I would end up getting a bunch of mixed results. But like, you know, it, it has nothing to do with the quality of the game, though. <laughs> Fire Nation soldiers do not tire, they do not fail, and they do not smell. Rectify this immediately. Hey, you know what? That's fair, you know? Making sure your people are bathed and all that. I can get behind that. Wait, are these the guys whose asses we need to kick? Dope. Let's kill them. Murder these fools. Stop taking hits. Just just murder. Oh, yet? there's more coming. 
Where do you keep coming from? There was like two of you like two seconds ago. Oh my lord, I can't get away from him. Just throw the boomerang. Uh, Aang is dead. Okay. This is actually getting bad. This is bad. <laughs> they're, they're too powerful. Oh my lord, this one's fast too. Thankfully he has to he has to pause for a moment every time he swings though. So that's uh that's kind of saving us right now. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess that works too. <laughs> I didn't mean to just load out of the level entirely or that section entirely, but whatever. That's fine. We can just get our health back this way. I <laughs> I didn't know they were going to be so strong. All right, let's go back in. I wonder if they're still going to be looking for us, if they're going to reload. Oh, no, yeah, they're still looking for us. Oh, it looks like they even kept the uh, the health value that they had whenever we left them. That's nice. I don't expect that from old games very much, you know? I expect them to kind of reload everything as soon as... as soon as you leave the area. I'm too tired for that. Too tired for what? To throw a boomerang? Like, that's your whole thing, Sokka. That's all you do. Sunset Overdrive is the one game that uh, the kid we know suggested to me. And uh, I don't know. I wasn't that interested in it whenever it was first announced, to be honest to you. I wouldn't mind trying it out. Did it have a single player mode or was it purely multiplayer, though? For some reason, I was thinking it was a purely multiplayer game, but... I could be 100% wrong about that. Also, there's no way this building is this large, you know? We saw it from the outside. It wasn't even close to this big. Yeah, what was it? Oh, another save point? We'll use that. We've been uh, we've been pretty close to death actually a couple times. So we'll we'll save real quick. Don't want to have to redo everything. It was single player as far as you played it at least. Maybe I uh maybe I'm misremembering the gameplay of it then whenever I I remember seeing the what should I call it the the trailer whenever it was first announced and whatnot. Maybe it has Tardis properties. Ooh, if we found a Tardis, think of the things we could do, man. We could go back a hundred years ago. We could save our people. All of the uh, Airbenders wouldn't be extinct anymore. Murdered at the the hands of the Fire Nation. Okay, well, look. I didn't know you were just gonna spawn in like that. We smell? It was you he meant. He was talking about both of you. I ignored your question. What was your question? Ouch. Is the cat up to here? You haven't seen him in a while? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's up here. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, love. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been sleeping up here. Ah, no! Go invisible. No fight. Oh wait. No, wait. Never mind. I, I lied. These are the two we need to fight. I think. I hope. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Knocked him the hell out. You look very convincing just putting those robes over top your normal robes. <laughs> Enrage level one. And we got dragon attack upgrade. Cool. So we can do our normal thing there, but then we can also do... Okay, so that just makes our attack stronger, I'm guessing. Man, these clothes stink. It was stupid yet extremely fun game, energy drink monsters. <laughs> yeah. Like so I I think I remember the game itself. I just uh for some reason whenever I saw the trailer, I thought it was multiplayer. Like almost exclusively multiplayer. But I could very well be misremembering it though. Can you just die already? Thank you. There's not much feedback whenever you're hitting people. No, this isn't uh, any God of War game or anything like that. That's for sure. But it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I see a chest. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. We're, we're going to try to get through this area real quick here. Is this the herbal soap? We got the herbal soap, guys. The old man can ease his aching bones now. You haven't seen him since before my break? Yeah, he's been up here. Well, I was going to say he's been up here for a long time, but I just turned around and he's not up here now. <laughs> so I don't know. He could be in one of the other rooms, like one of the storage rooms or some shit. Love, I don't know. 
Played it single player, you have a hard time doing MMOs anymore? The same, to be honest. I didn't think it was like MMO, but I thought it was a uh, multiplayer though, you know? Like a online shooter thing. My kid wants some of those giant spinning blades for the holidays. Your kid wants dangerous. giant spinning blades for the holidays. That seems like a good gift for children. You heard him trotting down the stairs? Yeah, I mean, he is pretty fat. <laughs> you can't see me. Can we save here safely, or are we going to get attacked? I'm not going to save here. We just save, man. There are saves all over this freaking game, though, which is, I mean, that, that can be nice, you know. Better to have too many save points than not enough, I suppose. Uh, load it quickly. Oh, wait. We don't need to be invisible anymore. That's right. We look like fire soldier people. Duh. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm not. Does this loop around, maybe? Ooh, oh, we can move the camera out. That's nice. Yeah, no, this doesn't look like it loops around. I think we're going to have to go all the way back here. <laughs> Action adventure type of game? I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to look it up after the stream. Because maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Was it made by Insomniac or whoever? Or was it made by someone else? Maybe the trailer was just hey, extremely misleading. I don't know. Last night. Didn't see who at the meeting last night. Me? I was definitely at the meeting last night. Don't you worry about that. Can you help me carry my supplies inside, sure thing. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely the game I was thinking it was, so... Yeah, I must have just, uh... The trailer must have just misled me a little bit. Not saying they purposefully did that or anything, but I, I must have misunderstood the trailer or whatever. Hey, we got some herbal soap! Thank you, you have no idea how much this will mean to Granddad. I'll take it to him right away. You should drop by later. Okay! You, lady! I found disguises! I uh, wonder if you'd help me with something while I search for information on your friend. Our supplies have been mysteriously disappearing, leaving us with barely enough to survive. Yes, if we don't solve the mystery soon, we won't have enough food and clothing for winter. Well, that's no good. That's not what we want. We'll find out what's happening, ma'am. Don't Goodbye. worry. Find the supplies. Honestly, though, on that, that absolute cliffhanger of a moment, man. Honestly, I'm just sorry to do this to you guys, you know. I'm sure... You want to see the thrilling conclusion to who could possibly be stealing the supplies here. Um, but <laughs> we're going to have to call it there for the night, man. Time's up. Honestly, though, this game is a bad. It's a little it's a little uh, simple, maybe. I imagine it was probably made for the younger audience that the show was geared towards. But it's not bad. I wouldn't mind finishing this one someday. I'm going to put it on the list of stuff that I, uh, that I wouldn't mind finishing. Putting it on the backlog section, but, you know, it's still... It's a game that ended up on Game Pass and you decided to try it. I hadn't really seen the trailers or anything. I just remember it was one of the games that came out fairly early in the Xbox One's life cycle, if I remember correctly. So I remember it from like watching E3 and whatnot. It was pretty hyped up and then just kind of died off from what I remember. Like nobody really talked about it anymore after that. But yeah, you know. But all right. Guys, I hope you had fun. I, uh, like I said, it wasn't a bad game. I actually kind of had... Had some fun with it, you know? And I thank you all for joining. Some Nate, Rue, Noodle, really anybody else who just uh, stopped in and chilled in, in the background or whatever. I appreciate you all. Uh, what is today? Today's Thursday, right? So tomorrow night, I'll be playing something from the PS2. Haven't decided what yet. And then we'll be back Sunday with some Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. So I hope to see you all there and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Is is there even a keyhole on this door? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. We got the parcel. What's in the parcel? Also, why am I wearing an apron? 